Uh, th thank you very much and uh, good morning to everybody. Let me start once again by extending warm words of welcome to our comrades, friends, and colleagues from Ramallah, uh, led by the mayor of Ramallah, uh, Mayor Musa Hadid, and fellow council members. Uh, the delegation, of course, includes Dr. Zamlod from Fatah. As indicated by the regional secretary earlier, we ourselves thought that we should dedicate the visit by the mayor to a conversation today with various stakeholders within the city of Johannesburg, particularly faith-based organizations and other organizations that exist in the city of Johannesburg, to enable this conversation about the challenges that confront the Palestinian people to become part of the overall discourse about peace, justice, and equality. As the African National Congress in Johannesburg, we confirmed and affirmed the city's position to enter into a partnership and sister city relationship with the city of Ramallah understanding that, in fact, it is through that level of cooperation that we can facilitate mutual benefit, but also enable the people of Johannesburg to transcend the city-to-city -city relationship to a human relations platform, that we should create a basis on which we can enable interface between the peoples of this country and the people of Ramallah and Palestine, understanding, of course, that the success of our struggle was premised on our ability to, to mobilize not just South African capacity to execute the struggle, but the international community and solidarity from the international community. Since the regional conference of the ANC, a delegation of the city of Johannesburg, both consisting the municipality and the African National Congress, visited the city of Ramallah towards the end of last year. This delegation went on to sign an agreement of cooperation between the two cities, Johannesburg and Ramallah. The purpose of this visit this week is to enable us to concretize specific areas of cooperation and collaboration and areas of mutual benefit for our respective cities. We believe that this cooperation would not just be beneficial to Johannesburg and Ramallah, but sets a platform for other <coughs> cooperation agreements between municipalities in South Africa and municipalities in Palestine. This at the back of an agreement that's been reached between the South African Local Government Association and the Association of Palestinian Local Authorities, or as we would say, SALGA and APLA. I thought I shouldn't say APLA first in case South Africans get confused which APLA I'm talking about. It's the Association of Palestinian Local Authorities. <laughs> And we thought that it is important that we undertake this work in line with the city's international relations policy that's premised on pursuing our own interest, but also identifying strategic partnerships with various cities internationally. It is premised on a number of pillars 
amongst those would be relationships between BRICS country cities, relationships with strategic African cities, north-south relationships, multilateral engagements, but also a component dedicated to solidarity. For we understand that the success of our struggle was also on the basis of solidarity from the international community. And we think that it is important that we ourselves demonstrate our commitment to solidarity by entering into this relationship. Lastly, I'd like to reemphasize the point that we extended an invitation in his capacity, of course, as a struggle veteran, as a former member of the National Executive Committee of the African National Congress, former General Secretary, and current Vice President, is it Vice President of the South African Council of Churches? A pioneer in many respects of liberation theology in our country to be able to share with us the role that the religious community plays in mobilizing and transcending religious formations and beliefs behind an understanding that in fact this is about humanity, it is about liberation, it is about freedom, and it is about solidarity with a people. We re-emphasize many a times as the African National Congress that we continue to support a two-state solution based on the 67 borders. We re-emphasize as the African National Congress that our belief is that this solution should be premised on the basis of a negotiated settlement, but that that negotiated settlement should enable the people of Palestine to be able to run their own country, to govern themselves, and to be able to coexist. We re-emphasize as the African National Congress the fact that this is not a conflict of religion. It is a conflict that has to do with prejudice, and that we condemn all forms of prejudice, bigotry, and racism. It is important to restate this because many a times when you adopt a position that says the experience, the current experience of the Palestinian people is akin to that of apartheid, many want to suggest that those sentiments are informed by anti-Semitic positions. And I think that it is unfair to suggest that in fact this would be anti-Semitic when in fact it is not based on a religious position, but it is about a people for their liberation. And this is a message we need to reinforce to all South Africans, that this is not a matter, in fact, I think, uh, as Dr. Zamlot comes, he said it aptly last night, in this whole conflict, God is innocent. So let's not try and put God into the conflict. Let's not try and make God the scapegoat of the conflict. It is about people. And in this instance, if God is innocent, then the people must be able to resolve the problems. Thank you very much.